Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. So I wanted to make this video yesterday, but I couldn't make, so I'm making it now, and it's around 5.30 a.m. in the morning. Um, I had uh, some work yesterday, like I had to work on my assignments, so I'm getting my next assignment, and I have got my marks for uh, previous assignment. It was essentially an optional assignment that uh, we had to do. It was just to give us practice uh, with R, but uh, they actually gave feedbacks which we need to keep in mind and uh, all those things. So yeah, I will discuss about that, uh, what tips I got and how much marks I, I got. So yeah, I will tell you that. And uh, also, uh, I will give some tips which you need to keep in mind while doing a master's or maybe any other course. It will help you in any course. Um, yeah, so that's what uh, I'll be discussing in this video. But as always, before moving further, if you are new here, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Critical Family and also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps you motivated to make such videos for you guys. So yeah, with that being said, let's start a discussion. Uh, so yeah, the first uh, tip uh, that I would like to give you is uh when you're coming for masters or you're joining some course uh, be open-minded and be ready to learn any new skill so uh like if you ask me to choose between python and r i will obviously choose python because i'm very comfortable in it and i can do projects much faster in uh, python but uh, for statistics model we have to use r and one good thing about it is uh, i will be able to learn r right uh, and by the end of uh, statistics module, probably I will be able to say that, uh, yeah, I am somewhat uh, comfortable with R. Uh, yes, of course, I won't be like uh, completely uh, proficient in R by just by doing just uh, uh, four weeks of uh, course or module or doing three, four assignments. Yes, that is not possible, at least not for me. So, uh, yeah, but at least I will be much more familiar uh, with R than what I was, right? So I have one more skill to add on my resume and it will open more opportunities for me, right? Because if there are uh, companies who want uh, developers or machine learning engineer or statisticians uh, and they're using uh, programming languages R, so I will be able to get that job, right? And uh, if I know only Python, I will be focused uh, only on jobs which are listed for Python developers or machine learning engineer which are using Python. So that is the thing. And uh, same goes with the uh, data visualization module as well. So there we are learning Power BI. Uh, before masters, if I had to do any visualization, I would have again done it in uh, Python. But uh, yeah, we are learning Power BI. It is actually much faster uh, than Python because we need to write code and do all those things. And here all you need to do is uh, import data, apply uh, different um, plotting tools and filters and stuff like that. So it is fast, obviously. Uh, but uh, it has its own limitations like any other platform so that is a thing but again i will learn uh, power bi as well so one more skill to add on my resume so that's a good thing uh, so yeah this is uh, probably the most important tip that i want to give you in this video is keep your mind open to learn any skill and don't be like oh no i know python and i have to go in r so i hate it i don't want to do it and things like that if you make that kind of mind it will be hard for you to learn uh, r and anyways you have to do it in r and it's compulsory so you got no other choice right so it's always better to be uh, very flexible to learn anything so that uh, your mind will be uh, comfortable in that and it will not think like uh, it as a burden it will take it as a opportunity it will take as a new skill and that way it will make it at least 50 percent easier to learn this is my personal opinion uh, what do you think about it do let me know in the comment section because i personally think mindset uh, plays very important role in learning something new so yeah uh, and yeah now let's move on to uh, my assessment uh, that first, assess first assignment that i submitted I have received marks and uh, tips and comments uh, what I need to improve on that. Uh, so yeah, let's discuss about that now. Uh, so yeah, I got 22 out of 25. I lost three marks and mainly for uh, the X and Y axis. Uh, so I was not labeling them properly. I mean, I wrote value of probability and they said you need to write probability. So I think it's a nitpicking, but yeah, anyways, uh, 
it's totally i mean i think they are completely different things i guess uh, but yeah i will keep that in mind and they asked me to write those uh, x and y labels uh, pretty descriptive and not just uh, and yeah on uh, x axis i had written n just i mean the value of n so i just wrote n so probably there i had to um, give some descriptive label so i i lost marks there three marks because we had three questions and uh, second and third had graph or uh, plots so i lost marks for x minus one for x axis minus one for y axis and in second plot i think my y axis was fine but i lost one marks for x axis so i lost three marks there so it's not a big deal i think i can work on it and i can make it work next time so good thing that i didn't lose marks in critical things uh, and these are pretty easy stuff to improve in the next assignment and i have already got two more assignments for statistics and uh, one more assignment for power bi and they are uh, submitted assignments or they will be uh, contributing to the final marks so i need to do them uh, very carefully and i thought uh, data visualization won't be that hard i mean uh, those uh, assignments but uh, after reading uh, problem it was pretty clear and I, I thought it is very straightforward but the problem there is uh, i won't be there to explain that uh, findings right i won't be uh, talking about my graphs all i have to do is submit the screenshot and power bi report uh, to the educator and they will have to analyze and if they are able to find the uh, output which problem statement wants me to do so that is the thing so uh, i need to be very careful about which plots i am choosing and uh, what text i am adding so those things so yeah it's not very straightforward but yeah i have to do it and the statistics seems uh, fine enough for me i don't think it's uh, very hard because uh, the problem statement that we have it is uh, very descript descriptive and uh, i was able to understand them yeah there are a few points that i need to uh, look again uh, before starting to code but uh, that seems uh, fine so yeah when i will submit those assignments and i will get my assessment and tips i will share that again so if you want that uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned and uh, what else uh, in stats uh, we started with probabilities and uh, calculus linear algebra stuff so not much on linear algebra but uh, yeah calculus and probability mainly and uh, then uh, now we are learning about uh, various distributions and like binomial normal uh, poisonous rate so these kind of things uh, we were learning and uh, i haven't watched all the videos yet lecture videos so i need to do that um, i have directly started with assignment and i wanted to see if i'm able to understand the problem statement and i understand most part but there are a few things so i think for, for that i need to go back and watch lectures so that's what i will do today hopefully <laughs> so yeah uh, this is what i want to discuss in this video i hope you found this video helpful if you're into data science link is in the description you can download data science notes uh, that will definitely help you and uh, i got good feedbacks about the notes people saying um, yeah they were able to learn uh, good things from that note and notes and uh, uh, they were uh, able to accelerate their learning so yeah you can download that and also you can join our telegram group there we have more than thousand people and everybody is willing to help each other and help each other and on a daily basis they are uh, contributing to the community so yeah you can join that as well so with that uh, see you in the next video bye happy learning